Hello, welcome, and thanks for watching. This video is intended to help new players learn about the loot spawns in DayZ. Now, this is a really complicated topic that is always changing with every new patch, so I'd like to break it down and make it simple for you, and that it'll apply across all the different patches. How I'm going to do this is I'm going to categorize the different types of buildings found across the land of Chernaris, and then I'm going to break down what types of loot can spawn in those buildings. This is going to help you figure out what types of buildings are worth looting when you're looking for a specific item. And it's also going to help groups of players with callouts, uh, as it's not always so easy to distinguish when your buddy says, Hey, he's in the green building. Uh, you know, which green building, Chris? <sighs> God damn it, Chris. Anyways, I hope you learned something from this video, and if you do, please subscribe, check out my other videos, and then maybe check me out on Twitch. One thing we need to cover before we start is the tiered loot system, which I briefly described in my military locations guide. Daisy's map works on a four-tiered loot system. Here's a map showing approximately where these zones are. What this means is that the further inland you go, the better loot you're able to find. For example, AKMs only spawn in the tier 2, 3, and 4 areas, so you're never going to find one at the solitary military tent in Electro, which is a tier 1 zone. Similarly, you're never going to find cargo pants that give you the extra hotbar slot until you get into the tier 3 or 4 areas. You're just not going to find those items on the coast. Now let's break down the types of buildings that spawn loot in DayZ. I've broken it down into six main categories, civilian, industrial, hunting, medical, police, and then military. To begin, let's start with civilian buildings. Now there are a ton of different civilian buildings. Just to name a few, we've got the apartments, the brick pub, the fortress building, the log cabin, green stilted, orange stilted, the Jamaican house, the watermelon house, grandma's house, the red two-story, the green two-story, mustache house, some magazine stands, the piano building, the beige double, and the orange brick. There are also a wide variety of row houses that you can see here. Now, the question is, what type of loot spawns in these buildings? Well, the short answer is a hell of a lot. The long answer is various types of food, drinks, water bottles, civilian clothing, some limited medical supplies like alcohol tincture, and melee weapons. You can also find chest holsters, backpacks, and sewing kits, as well as some building supplies like duct tape or hammers. Now, I can only tell you about the guns that spawn here as of the 1.04 update. For rifles, we've got shotguns, IZH rifles, Mosins, and CR-527s. When it comes to pistols, you can find Makarovs or CR-75s. Now let's move on to the industrial style buildings. There are a ton of them, like the glass factory, the big factories, the blue tin barn, the wood barn, the red barn, the maintenance building, the auto shop, the red door garages, various types of sheds, the bus depots, the train yard shed, and the train cars, just to name a few of them. The type of loot that spawns here are auto parts like batteries, spark plugs, radiators, tires, and jerry cans. However, I'd recommend just looking for parts at other car spawns when you're fixing up your ride. You can find building supplies like hammers, nails, epoxy, generators, and even cables. You can find gardening supplies like shovels, garden lime, or seeds. You can find crafting supplies like rope and burlap sacks for making backpacks, sewing kits, and duct tape. And then finally, you can also find your good old-fashioned melee weapons. Now let's move on to hunting style buildings. A few examples are the log cabin pub, the general store, the deer stands, 
the chicken coops, the summer camp cabins, and the ruined castles. This is where you're gonna find hunting clothes, backpacks, and PU or hunting scopes. Make sure you check those summer camps for the latter. You're also gonna be able to find little odds and ends like seeds, some building supplies, trail maps, canteens, things like that. You're gonna be able to find shotguns, CR-527s, and Winchesters in these areas, as well as their ammunition and magazines. Let's quickly cover the two medical buildings. You've got the large hospital and then the smaller blue clinic. Both of these spawn all of the medical supplies you could need, which are becoming more and more important with each patch. You can find medical clothing, bandages, codeine, tetracycline, morphine, epinephrine, blood bags, salines, AEDs, and full first aid kits. Next up, we've got the police buildings, like the new police station, the old yellow police station, and then two different types of guard shacks. This is where you're gonna find police clothing, stab-proof vests, and handcuffs. For weapons, you'll find MP5s if you're lucky, scorpions, and CR-75s. Finally, we can talk about military buildings. There are a lot of different types like the green shipping containers, the guard towers, the hangars, the HQ building, the camo jail, the ATC, the Arma 3 barracks, the civilian barracks, the double door barracks, the L-shaped barracks, the original barracks, the Quonset hut, the camo sandbag compound, and military tents. There are also some unique buildings like the Green Mountain Tower, the yellow barracks at Kamensk and Tizzy military bases, the Tizzy missile launch pads, and the Tizzy radar dish. Military locations are going to spawn military clothing, vests, and backpacks, as well as flash, smoke, and frag grenades. You're also going to get military and car tents here, and the camo netting you can put over medium tents. I almost forgot about military helmets and night vision goggles as well. As far as guns go, it is again going to vary depending on which tiered part of the map you're in, but you can find FNX pistols, MP5s, SKSs, AKMs, AK-74s, and 101s, along with all the attachments for these guns. Now the last thing we have to cover are the dynamic events like police cars and heli crashes. These things spawn dynamically across the map and have some decent loot. Obviously you can find all the police loot I listed earlier at the police cars, but you can find some seriously good stuff at the heli crashes. Heli crashes are the only place where you'll find FALs and VSSs and SVDs, but you can find the ammunition, magazines, and attachments for these guns at any military building. At any given time, there are three heli crash sites and 10 police cars randomly placed throughout Trenaris. Well, that does it for this loot spawn guide. I'm planning on making another video that goes into details about the specific tiered gun spawns later on. So be sure to subscribe to catch that one and check out my other adventure videos. Later, everybody.